How dare they? Let's begin. Now, if you're a tenant like me, you will know that Renton can have its upsides and downsides. One of the upsides is, of course, you get your repairs included. However... The downsides could be quite a lot. I mean, for instance, rent is nearly always, as far as I'm aware, more expensive than the mortgage, so you're paying more for that benefit. Let's face it, landlords can often put up the rent to whatever they want, it seems. I mean, I myself, not so long ago, had my rent increase to £150 a month. Which, yes, obviously, people on mortgages, theirs went up as well. But the difference is mortgage payments will go back down again, whereas, to be honest, I don't think I've ever had my rent reduced ever. And then, of course, there's rogue landlords, you know, those who collect the rent but don't actually want to carry out repairs or things like that. So you'd think, wouldn't you, that there'd be some sort of list to protect us tenants from those sort of rogue landlords. There is one thing, though. There is a list. However, according to this article, there's something they're not actually telling us. And that is, there's a massive problem with the list that is meant to protect us. Because it says that there's an urgent warning for renters as the data place meant to protect them from rogue landlords is left near empty. As councils are failing to update it with more convicted landlords, the Sun can apparently reveal. And this rogue landlords database, which apparently was launched in 2018, was created by the government to make local authorities aware of landlords and property agents convicted of housing offences. But currently, only local authorities can check the database on behalf of tenants, although the Sun apparently understands that there are plans to open this up to renters in the future. And to be honest, I don't know about you, but you would have thought, first of all, they should have publicised this list to all potential tenants in the first place and also made aware that, you know, it actually exists. For example, whenever they view a house for an estate agent or whatever. But of course, the estate agents, they're probably just thinking of the money. Although hopefully, you know, I'm not saying that's true, but hopefully I'm wrong with that. And if I was an estate agent myself, I wouldn't really want my company associated with a rogue landlord because it doesn't really look too good, does it? But just how bad is this? It says that thousands of landlords have estimated to have been prosecuted for housing-related offences over the past few decades. Meanwhile, though, a Freedom of Information request to the Ministry of Justice in 2015 revealed that there were 2,006 convictions between 2006 and 2014, resulting in fines of over £3 million. However, figures obtained by The Sun through their own Freedom of Information request show that only 49 names currently live on the government's rogue landlords database as of January this year. And I don't know about you, but I think that is absolutely disgraceful because just think how many further convictions there would have been on top of that 2006 up until 2014. I mean, that's an extra 10 years worth, isn't it? So presumably it's going to be double that. But strangely, only 49 names are on there. It's just absolutely disgraceful. I mean, can you imagine if that was some sort of other list that, um, let's just say people are often put on when they do horrible crimes against people? And yes, obviously, I know they're two different things. However, lists, any list, should be kept up to date. And there's no excuse, in my opinion, for not putting any convicted criminal or landlord on the list that they deserve to be on. Because otherwise, it just makes a mockery of the whole thing, doesn't it? And therefore, these rogue landlords will continue to get away with whatever they're doing. And you'd think, wouldn't you, that those 49 names are probably just in one borough. But quite worryingly, though, unfortunately, they're not. They are spread across 27 local authorities, with 15 only having one entry. The council, of course, with the greatest number of entries is Camden Lower Borough, with eight entries in total. And just look at this list. It's quite shocking, in my opinion. Especially as, of course, my council isn't on there at all, even though I'm pretty sure that where I live, um, well, let's face it, in some areas, if you leave your car overnight, uh, you might not have his wheels attached to it in the morning. And obviously, that Rogue Landlords database is a tool for local authorities in England to keep track of rogue landlords and property agents. But the problem is it's down to the local authorities to make the entry on the database. I don't know about you, but I think it'd be much better if it was done automatically upon conviction by the court. And therefore, we won't have to rely on councils because, let's face it, councils can just say can take their time with things, can't they? Even says here that it is mandatory for them to put them on the database once the council has obtained a ban in order against the landlord or agent. But councils apparently also have discretionary powers to make entries without a ban in order in the following circumstances. If a person or agent has at least one previous ban and order against them, which they have been convicted for, or two or more ban and offences within the past 12 months that they have received civil penalties for. But the problem is, a close source apparently told the Sun that local authorities just don't have the time or money to invest in pursuing ban and orders against rogue landlords, which I don't know about you, but to me it just sounds like they're them getting away with it. While of course they continue to put rents up to sky high levels and shirking their responsibilities. Responsibilities in the process, in my opinion, anyway. 
especially of course with all the illegal boot people coming over here from the safe country of France within about five or ten years time I'm guessing it's going to be pretty hard to actually get a rental property but thinking about it it's pretty hard to get one as it is isn't it there could also be another reason why let's just say the council aren't too keen about these banning orders because it does say that some local authorities have become reluctant to pursue a rogue landlord or agent if it means that about 20 of their properties could fall out of the housing stock as a result because remember councils often have to house people don't they and if 20 properties have now just gone up and smoke that's going to be much harder for them to do although to be honest that is no excuse in my opinion because those tenants that are put into those properties might have a hard time with the landlord as a result and al mcclenahan hope i pronounced that right the founder of justice for tenants explained that the rogue landlords database is meant to inform all citizens if a landlord or agent is a criminal and if everyone who committed housing crimes was on the rogue landlords database tenants could check whether the landlords is a criminal before renting and avoid horrible and unsafe housing situations. Tenants would be better protected if all criminal landlords were listed and stayed on the list for many years. And that was the main purpose of the Rogue Landlord database, but unfortunately it isn't working to keep tenants safe. And experts had hoped that the Renters Reform Bill might improve the situation, but now there are fears that it is so watered down it won't make any difference. And let's face it, quite a lot of MPs out there do tend to like to water things down, don't they? Which is really bad in my opinion, especially if the aim of a bill is protecting people it shouldn't be watered down at all but you know don't worry because he also says that the bill must be beefed up and councils given the funding and resources so banned landlords can't slip through the net well yes i agree with that hopefully hopefully that will happen and if labor get in um to be honest with you i'm not so sure but just what the government said about it well apparently the spokesman for the department of leveling up housing and community says that councils must update the database when rogue landlords are banned from letting out properties our renters reform bill will make it fairer for landlords and tenants with an improved system for monitoring landlord offences and you know of course i don't know about you but the longer that takes to happen the more chance that this problem is going to snowball and snowball fast so sort it out government 